channel. I'm so excited for today because me, Josie, and Courtney are actually going to paint pottery. I have been trying to plan this for weeks, but none of our schedules have matched up. But finally, and thankfully today, we are going. Josie literally took off work for this. The place that we are going to today is called Peace, Love, and Pottery in Sylvania, Ohio. I have actually gone there before with Josie and my mom. I will insert some of that footage here. the entire video on our family nest of course i'm going to be filming the pottery painting but i'm also just going to be vlogging for the rest of the day so the first thing i think we should do is an outfit check <music> Hi Josie. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I wasn't even feeling your face. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your project? You guys should guess on the comments. Next Friday? Next Saturday? Stay no, it's Friday. We get them Friday. Saturday, stay tuned to see what it actually looks like. So Josie's making a vase with something on it that she doesn't want to say yet. Courtney is making a cardinal. With eyeliner, me as oh, I must have said a bad word. And mine looks like very, very slow progress. I'm making a bowl with blueberries in it, but I just finished the inside and outside, so now I actually get to start making the blueberries. got done with the pottery place and now it is time for us to share our thoughts so how do you feel about the pottery place usually when i do any artsy <laughs> things i look on pinterest or google for inspiration but this time i just completely diy'd it and i'm really proud because i really like the way it turned out i'm excited to show you guys the final product mm -hmm. next saturday um, so stay Friday? tuned for that. No, she posts on Saturday. Well, it, this oh. video will post on Wednesday, so the next video I'll just throw in the final results for everyone so they can actually see, but mm -hmm. I honestly enjoyed my experience this time more than last time. Mm -hmm. Last time I was here, I wore the itchiest pants. <laughs> That's all I can remember, but um, yeah, I like my project a lot better this time. I did kind of screw up something towards the end, but I feel like it'll be fine. But I took the longest out of everyone, of course. Most yeah. Perfectionist. But then me and Courtney went outside and waited for Carly and we talked about her new job. I think mine was kind of plain because <laughs> I did the whole thing like one color. It's okay. And 
It'll still be cute. I can't wait for to see what yeah. they look like when they're done and they're I'm shiny. I'm excited to see my speckles. Yeah. Because yeah. you went on with a special glaze after you were done. My shirt is literally see-through and I had no idea. I need to put on a bra. So, hi everyone. It is currently 11.41 p.m. Tuesday, May 16th of 2023. Now you may wondering why I'm telling you the date. Maybe I'm telling you the date because the video you're watching right now posts in less than 10 hours and it's not finished. I kind of had the expectation that I was going to have a lot more pottery footage than I did, but I only ended up having about like five or six minutes worth of footage actually worth putting into the video. Oh my God, how many times can I say worth in a sentence? But yeah, that's why I'm in a dilemma because I have to post this video tomorrow and it's not done. So you know what? We're gonna finish it right now. And luckily I actually have some things I can film which is surprising because my life is pretty boring. And that super exciting thing that I'm going to do is a Target haul. I have been a little bit sicky today so I haven't been that motivated and I haven't done very many things but one thing that I did do is go to Target. So I went there with my mom earlier and I got quite a few goodies so I'm going to share them with you. So the first thing I got that I'm actually most excited about is this book right here called Healing Through Words and at first I'm not going to lie the only reason I grabbed it is because I thought it was a poem book. This is literally the author of like Milk and Honey and all those popular poem books and I was like ooh coffee book for like a nice table you know what I'm saying literally was going to get it as a decoration but then I opened the inside and then I fell in love so it is actually really really fun because it's like a do-it-yourself book I'm not going to get into reading like the entire like first exercise but just to kind of summarize it it asks you to like draw what trauma looks like in your life and then to like write some words that come to your mind write some phrases that come to your mind and then you literally get to free write about like a poem or just a writing that like comes to your mind and I absolutely love writing when it's not for school and I love doing like little small simple things like this so I love this book and if you're into things like that too go get this from Target. So I also got this book and I know everyone's first reaction is going to be why did you buy that and that is honestly my reaction right now too because I am a little confused but I have an explanation to make things make sense. This book is called Walk the Blue Line and it's about police officers and on the back it says for anyone who has ever wondered what these officers see, how they feel, and why they do it this book has the answers. So some of you may not know this, but my major in college is actually criminal justice and a lot of the careers that I'm interested in, it would require me to be a police officer first. And honestly, I know that's like a very, very hard job and I have a lot of confidence myself. So I feel like if I read something like this, maybe I'll pipe down a little bit and maybe understand it a little better. And maybe it would help me like make a better decision on like what career I wanna do, you know? Like I feel like this book could be helpful, but I also feel like this book is going to sit on my bookshelf with like 50 other books that I haven't touched like in the past two years, but we'll see. And then I got some boring stuff. I got two loofahs, one for me and one for my other half. Some new cutesy beauty blenders, more boring stuff. Also more boring stuff, also more boring stuff. And honestly, these are pretty boring too, but I'm gonna talk about it. So basically recently I've been hating like the organization of my bathroom. Like I just wish like the inside of my drawers were a little bit more organized and like separated, you know? So I just got a few containers. I got two of these longer ones and then two of these smaller square ones. I honestly have no idea if these are even gonna fit in my drawers, but that's what we're about to go test out. To be honest, I was saving this activity of organization for tomorrow, but here we are at almost midnight not having a video and not having content, so it looks like we're doing it right now. I'm terrible at my job. You've gotta be joking right now. I literally never get a break from them. They follow me everywhere I go. The first thing that I'm going to do, which is pretty uninteresting, is switch my shower liner. There were different size liners at Target, and me and my mom were unsure of which one was the right size for mine. I honestly think she chose the wrong choice, but we're going to test out the theory right now. The shower is not this long, first of all. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Never mind, don't trust my judgment. It literally fits perfectly. 
This is why I need my mother in my life. We also gonna get rid of these crusty Lisa's because they're disgusting. So cute. I started keeping one toothpaste in my shower and one in like my bathroom drawer and I got two different ones. One's a whitening and one is just a like clean mint tasting one and it's really giving me anxiety trying to decide which one should go where. This is a really hard decision for me. We're going to put the white new one in the shower, I think. Okay, now this is the issue that we have going on is I just have like so much stuff in here in the literal container that I keep my toothbrushes in. For one, it's just old and crusty, but it is also like a drawer to like an old like makeup organizer. So it's just kind of crusty. We need to like move on from that. But here is the test of whether or not this fits in here. Whew. Thank the Lord. So we gonna pick this off and we gonna start organizing. So I am done organizing and I just opened up my beauty blenders and I don't know if you can tell but they're fuzzy like they're they're literally fuzzy like can you hear that they're they're fuzzy and it said they were microfibrial I literally can't ever say that word so don't even correct me if I'm wrong this does not feel like a beauty blender and I just threw all my old ones in the trash and I just tore apart the entire package so looks like I will be using these but I just kind of don't understand it's actually kind of nice to be honest so maybe I should stop complaining this actually excites me so much which I know it's actually something like really simple and probably something I shouldn't trip about that much like it's literally a toothbrush drawer it looks amazing so we have all of our toothbrushes here and then we have some whitening stuff toothpaste electric toothbrush some floss and whitening stuff and then back here, I have these little to-go toothbrushes, which are literally the best thing in the entire world. And then, yeah, the rest is irrelevant. So here is where I used the new container. It just has a bunch of random stuff in it. And shut up. But I actually love the way this drawer looks so much better. It has so much more room and it looks phenomenal. Is she seriously chewing? I just caught her chewing my brand new shower liner. First, I wanna say I'm so sorry that the whole end half of this video was not as aesthetically pleasing as the beginning. I have been trying so hard with my vlogs recently and I really, really hope you guys are like actually enjoying them because I have been like putting a lot of work into them and I've actually been like loving them and I've started to like find a new love for my career, you know? But yeah, I've just been trying like really hard and trying to do some new fun things to make things more interesting for you guys so i just hope that you guys are enjoying it so i'm going to lay back edit the rest of this video and then i'm going to fall asleep while watching full house which i'm actually watching full house from the beginning i would 100 percent recommend it but thank you guys so much for watching this video we really really hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one bye Ew.